Hey Spartans, welcome back. Almost 8 years ago, Scratch Accordette Battle made one of the most legendary matchups on YouTube. Doom guy from Ultimate Doom vs Master Chief Petty Officer John117. And to me, like everyone else who saw that video thought that uh, it was completely biased on Master Chief's side. And look, I understand. The video was made in 2011 when Halo was still one of the most played games of that time. So I understand that Scratch gave the win to Master Chief because of that. But to be honest, they completely lowballed Doom Guy on some of his stats. The ending did absolutely no sense whatsoever, and they even got some of Master Chief's stats wrong, which at that point in time, they were already revealed to the public in the books. But anyways, 10,000 likes and I'll do a Master Chief vs Doom Guy video in real life. So, where to begin? I guess that we're going to begin with the basics. Scratch said that Master Chief is able to run up to 50 plus miles per hour. This is of course not true. Spartan Kelly 087 was the fastest Spartan 2 in the Spartan 2 program, making her the fastest human alive. However, Kelly's top speed was measured at 38.5 miles per hour. One time, Master Chief was able to run for a very short time at 62.5 miles per hour, but broke his Achilles tendon. But still, it is also stated that Spartan 2 is able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in almost an instant, which I think that that is only for a short period of time. Time. After some seconds, Spartan 2's will deaccelerate. So, Master Chief is able to run at 35 miles per hour on average, not 50 like they said in the video. They said that Doom Guy is able to run at about 57 miles per hour, and this is true. And for people that do not believe this, let me explain how this was calculated in the first place. There is a thing called map units in Doom. Essentially, they are a measurement of distance. Doom Guy's maximum running speed is 820 map units per second. 32 map units is equal to a meter, so Doom Guy is able to run at about 26 meters per second. So, Doom Guy is able to run at 26 meters per second, or 57 miles per hour. Doom Guy can run 1 kilometer in 30 seconds, and Doom Guy is still able to react to pretty much anything at that speed. So, in terms of speed, Doom Guy wins, absolutely. Scratch never talked about how strong is each individual. Mainly because I think they had no idea how to power scale Doom Guy, which I understand. I had a pretty rough time doing it myself, so they mainly focused their matchup on the weapons and abilities each other had. Master Chief weighed 130 kilograms without his power suit. Spartan 2s were noted to be able to lift three times their body weight without the suit. So Master Chief, without his power suit, is able to lift 400 kilograms. The Mjolder Mark VI power armor, which was used in this matchup increases the strength and abilities of its user by a factor of 5. That means that Master Chief with the suit is able to lift 200 kilograms or 2 tons. Doom Guy is able to toss around and throw imps into the air like if it was the most normal thing to do. The imps in Ultimate Doom are the mirror image of Doom Guy, just with a different sprite model. That will give the imps a weight of 104 kilograms, just the same as Doom Guy. And that's not everything. I already went through all of this in my Doom Guy power scaling video, but Doom Guy is able to rip and lift the torso of the Gargantuan Cyber Demon with just one arm, which has a mass of 1200 kilograms, or maybe even more, as it was scaled taking the burn of hell from Doom 2016 as a reference. So, Doom Guy is able to lift 1200 kilograms with one single arm. Probably 2500 with both arms, to be honest. Then again, in terms of raw strength, Doom Guy wins over Master Chief, even with the suit on. In terms of resistance and durability, I'll say that they are pretty much the same. Doom Guy can run at 57 miles per hour for an indefinite amount of time, and Master Chief can do it as well, just at 35 miles per hour. They both can take several shots of plasma before dying. Well, without a shield, the Mjolnir Mark VI armor is able to take 2 or 3 plasma shots before being breached. After that, another 2 or 3 plasma shots to the body will kill its user. Doomguy is able to tank several shots of plasma without the Spartan suit. 
He has the Mega Armor, yes, but it's still significantly weaker to the Spartan Armor. Doomguy wearing the Mega Armor or not, it doesn't make that much of a difference, to be honest. Doomguy with the Berserker power-up is able to casually make imps disintegrate with a single punch, and Spartan 2s are not able to kill a brute with a single punch, as shown when Spartan Cal 1 for 1 punched a brute in the gut and the punch didn't go through it. This doesn't mean that Doomguy is stronger than Master Chief in terms of punching. The average brute is 9 feet tall and has a mass of 680 kilograms. A brute is pretty much just a bigger burn of hell. And of course, Doomguy is not able to kill the burn of hell with several punches. He can kill it with a few punches when in Berserk mode, but without the Berserker power-up, it will take him quite a lot of time to kill the Baron. And here's the thing though, Master Chief or Spartan Tooths are all trained to be a master class in close quarters combat. Their base reflexes are on the 20 milliseconds and with the suit on, and with the suit on it makes the reflexes even more ridiculous, at the point where Spartan Tooths are able to dodge bullets. Maybe not point blank because that would be utterly god level ridiculous, but within a very close distance indeed. Even so, there are still Spartan 2s that have died in combat, they are not invincible. The game theorists or MatPat made a video in the past on why Spartans die when they are hit in the back, and I agree with it completely. It doesn't matter if they are Spartan 2s, if someone just as strong as a Spartan 2 were to punch Master Chief in the back, it will kill him. And we have confirmed that Doomguy is almost double as fast as Master Chief and has shown bigger feats of strength in his career. Even if Doomguy has superhuman characteristics, he's not a super soldier. By what we know, he doesn't have superhuman reflexes. He's not able to dodge bullets as shown in the game, but he can dodge bolts of plasma and fireballs. The reason why the ending pissed me off so much, even when I am a Halo fanboy to the death, is that they completely disregarded everything they said about Doomguy in the video. In the matchup, he's low as hell. He's not completely overwhelming Master Chief with all of the weapons he has. He's not surrounding Master Chief in a circle with his strafe running. I agree that pretty much most of the weapons like the handgun, shotgun, super shotgun, and minigun will do absolutely no damage to the suit. The Mark VI armor is impervious to even armor piercing rounds, but stuff like the grenade launcher, rocket launcher, and the plasma rifle will do great damage to his suit. All Doomguy needs to do is assert a four or five shots with a plasma rifle. And the ending was the thing that was the nail in the coffin for me. La aguja en el pajar, la cosa que me hizo enojarme un chorro. Doomguy shoots Chief with the BFG 9000, and on impact, a curtain of smoke appears. Then, out of freaking nowhere, a plasma grenade is thrown from the smoke, sticks Doomguy, and one shots him with a plasma grenade. Then, revealing that Master Chief was inside a bubble shield. <laughs> okay, first things first. Grenades cannot go through bubble shields. Grenades, bullets, sporting lasers, and rocket launchers, nothing can go through bubble shields pretty much, for the exception of living things and vehicles can go through the bubble shield. Second, let's say that Master Chief was able to throw the plasma grenade before Doomguy shoots, then instantly activates the bubble shield right when the plasma grenade gets outside the bubble shield radius. Even if that happened, Doomguy can just dodge the grenade. It's a plasma grenade thrown with a slope trajectory. It's going up, then down with a trajectory. It's not thrown directly with full force. He can dodge it, but okay, let's say that grenades can go through bubble shields. If that was the case, then we can say that the BFG shot can also go through the bubble shield, and if that was to be the case, a direct hit of the BFG 9000 will obliterate Master Chief. And also, Doomguy is able to tank multiple rocket explosions in his body, so a single plasma grenade will not kill him, to be honest. So, Doomguy is way faster than Master Chief. Doomguy is way stronger than Master Chief. Master Chief has a more advanced suit that protects him the most, 
but if brutes are able to completely handle sport and twos and have the same type of strength as doom guy then doom guy can just make up with his strength master chief has more technique he is an assassin sneaky as hell and to be honest both of them compensate what they lack in other things they are mostly polar opposites in battle technique but a match between both of them will be pretty even in my opinion doom guy destroys master chief without the suit and even with mark V. and doom guy might also be able to beat chief in a hand-to-hand -hand combat even with mark VI. but tell me what's your opinion on this conclusion let me know down below and the reason why and i know that it's not explaining the games but the reason why doom guy is just so goddamn powerful and, and and yes powerful and fast is because doom guy was made in 1993 everything was so over the top in 1993 you got duke nukem hexen wolfenstein doom uh, what else? What else? Yeah, all of the games from 1993 were all so over the top, so that's why we can explain the Doom Guy. That explains why Doom Guy is so goddamn powerful. And so, okay, Spartans, please let me know what do you think about this video in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and leave a dislike if you didn't. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch, in the Discord server. And thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. On the Space Marine section, we have Florian Havel Wets and Awesome Bra. And on the Doomsday section, we have Chris Shades, Oliveri, and Grayson West. Thank you so much for your continuous support on the channel. And so, guys, okay, Spartans, I'll see you guys tomorrow on a Doom Annihilation video. And I'll see you guys in person at QuakeCon on Thursday. I love you so much. Bye. Mwah.